Hey, I'm Greg Helm here with Audio Savings. Uh, I'm here to talk about PV today, but I want to talk about power ratings. So I think power ratings are the most uh, misunderstood uh, rating uh, information in, in the audio world. Uh, every time I, I'm in a store, people walk up and, and they see a speaker and go, how many watts it got? And, and um, speakers don't have watts, they have capacity. Uh, and, and people don't want to hear that, but, but there, there's three types of power ratings that, that people need to know about. One's called RMS, then there's program, then there's peak. Now to give you an idea of what each, each ones are, RMS, if you're talking about an amplifier, RMS is, it's idling. Let, let, let's look at a car. A car is a very good example. Your car is sitting in the driveway idling, 1,000 RPMs. That's RMS. You can sit there and do it forever. Just, you know, for years, as long as you keep gas in it, it'll idle at, 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 at RMS. Program, you're driving down the highway, going about 3,500 RPMs, going 60 miles an hour, 70 miles an hour. You're running fine. You can do that. You can call, go from New York to California, back and forth several times, at program because you're not going to overheat your car it's fine peak is trying to run your car at 7500 rpms now if you try to drive from new york to california at 7500 rpms you'll get about five miles ten miles in maybe where your engine overheats and pretty much goes goes bad and that's what program is the problem is a lot of manufacturers when they're giving their their power ratings out to an amplifier they're giving you they're giving you peak power, which is really a, at the point of where the amplifier will fail, and that's not really a good rating. And, and the thing that PV does is PV is an engineered-based company. The owner, Hartley PV, is an engineer, and, and I've talked to him many times, and, and he looks at a product and goes, see, that's my name on there. And, and he tells me many times, and he mentions other manufacturers, and you know, there's no Mr. So-and-so, Mr. That, Mr. That. Most of his competitors are huge corporate companies that are worried about the dot bottom line. Well, Hartley is always worried about giving value to his customers. And when you look at a PV product, you're gonna know you're looking at RMS power. You're not looking at program, you're not looking at peak. It's not an inflated number just to make it appear to be better. Now, to give you an idea of the difference, if something is 100 watts RMS, you're gonna double that for program power. So it's 200 watts of program. And then to get peak, you double it again, so it's 400 watts of peak power. So that's how it works. So if you look at an amplifier and they say it's 2,000 peak, well, that's a 500 watt amplifier because you, you half it for RMS. I mean, you half it for program, so 2,000 to 1,000. You half it again to get RMS, it's 500 watts. So please be careful when you're looking at an amplifier or a powered mixer or a powered speaker, make sure that you're going, you're getting true RMS power, not program or peak power rating from that manufacturer because we're talking apples and oranges here. Try to get everything to be like an orange or an apple or whatever your favorite fruit is. All right, thank you.